first of all, to have a jazz festival is special to me anyway. Now, to have a jazz festival in London, one of the major cities in the world, um, is even more special because I live here, I grew up here, and, you know, I love this place. I, I look at um, the jazz festival um, like a magnifying glass. The organizers bring in all the big guns, all the people they really want, you know, whether it's Herbie Hancock and, and uh, Chick Corea with John McLaughlin, and the spotlight's put on them and the magnifying glass is put on them, but it's all the other stuff that's already going on that gets encapsulated into the jazz festival that really bolsters the um, event and makes it look amazing. Guests. First of all, I'm going to go and see Herbie Hancock. Uh, it's interesting this year to see who he's bringing with him because I know that Terence Blanchard, the great trumpeter and composer uh, from New Orleans, is coming with him. So I'd love to see Herbie. Um, jazz on three, launch show. Um, well, that's always going to be good. Also, I want to go and see... Uh, another pianist called um, Chick Corea, who's playing with the British giant legend um, John McLaughlin. They're coming with a super band, which includes Christian McBride on the bass, Vinnie Colliuta on the drums, and the alto monster that's known as Kenny Garrett. Oh, discovering music, that's me with my trio. I should also mention that um, there's a discovering music uh, show being presented at the Guildhall School of Music Hall, and uh, that features my trio, and um, I'll be presenting that, and I'll also be directing the Guildhall School of Music Big Band, and uh, talking about improvisation in jazz, and just, you know, maybe demystifying a few things about jazz. So, um, I think I can recommend that.